What's up, my friends? Welcome back. First of all, happy holidays and happy new year because we are now passing to 2026 and I'll plan this video to be posted exactly on new year or maybe one day before. And by the way, if you want to comment something or ask me something or anything you want to say something to me, this will be a premiere video. So it will be like a live stream. So during the live stream, I will be on the keyboard answering questions. So if you have any questions, just write it in the chat or in the chat or in the comment section below. So yeah, this is a video without any script. I only have a list of things that I want to do. I uh, want to say to you. And first of all, happy holidays and happy new year, because I want to leave 2025 uh, and tell you how it went and then pass to the new projects of 2026. So we will talk about how the channel went this year and what we had on this channel, the views and the projects. And I will tell you which is my favorite projects for, for, for this year for my list and what projects I'm working on right now and what future plans I have to do for the workshop and for the projects. Then I will tell you a little bit, a little bit how the, the house is going and the workshop, the new workshop, because we have to remodel the entire home. We, I've moved to a new home and we'll talk about that. And then I'll answer, answer some repeated questions because I have like four or five questions that are always repeated in my videos. So in that way, you will know a little bit how this year went and what we have prepared. So let's get started. So first of all, how the channel went. Let's go to the statistics of my channel. As you can see, this channel had 5.6 million views, which is 20% less than the previous year. Now, I'm not concerned about that because I do know that this year went a little bit better than the previous year. As you know, I've uh, whined about it a, uh, a lot because my views have less and less videos, but I've made some changes and with the new topics, with the vlogs about the remodeling my workshop and how I'm remodeling my house and the weekly or monthly updates, those give me a lot more views. Now, the problem is that I have 20% less and that's because during the summer, I've been remodeling my home and I had no time for editing the videos and I had to buy the house and I have to make a lot of changes here. So I was going from Barcelona to the to here um, each weekend. And also I have now a baby of two years, uh, two years old. So I have less and less time. Uh, but even so, I was able to make sometimes even two or three videos a week because I have the project video, but also the vlogs, which by the way, the vlog series, you enjoy that a lot. I know that sometimes I get uh, questions or comments like you should not make these kind of videos because they are boring you should stay with electronics i will do what i want to do and i know that a lot of you are enjoying especially the updates that i have for my workshop how i'm making my table the workshop table for the electronics the workshop table for the hardware stuff and the soldering and the welding so a lot of you guys are enjoying that so i will keep doing that because those kind of videos are very easy for me to make i just take the camera record and the voice is recorded at the same time with the video because usually I make a video, I record a project and then I make a voice over, which is a lot difficult, a lot more difficult. So as you can see that I had in the summer a lot of uh, months without any video. That's why I have 20% less. But in overall, at the, the end of the video, I was increasing my videos a lot. As you can see, I even have a spike here. I have even posted some shorts. One of the shorts got up to 45,000 views. <laughs> it's a short about the wired programming for Arduino, but wireless. So basically I have two radio connectors, radio receivers and the transmitters. And instead of connecting a wired programmer to the Arduino, you connect it to a Bluetooth device, to a radio module, and that will send the signals to the other one and it will program the Arduino wisely. I want to make that project. I think it's very interesting, but I have to solve the problem of the power because if you have it wirelessly connected, you don't have power for the Arduino. So I should use uh, maybe batteries, maybe even make a PCB that you will just be compatible with the Arduino connected and you ha can have the Arduino anywhere in your home and you can program it. So I start making more shorts. I started making more blogs and more more chill videos. I mean, without, I mean, I still have the project videos. I make like at least two projects a month, but then I have like these more casual videos with updates about my workshop and my home and this new studio here. So, uh, yeah, the top videos for this, uh, year, the first five videos are not from this year. I mean, the top most view videos are still the SMD soldering tutorial, the CAN bus and the protocol of WART and SPI, and those are for 2019 and 2023. And then I had 1,013 um, 
thousand views for the planner speaker which is from 2023 and the first video from this year which is on top with 111 thousand views is the arduino uh, r4 which by the way it uh, what is what it was released one year back so i was pretty late uh, to make that video but as you can see it got to a lot of views and that was the most view video uh, of this year and now for my opinion the best project uh, for me was the homemade laser meter and i like that project not because it's very complex actually just the opposite because usually a laser power meter is very expensive if, if you want a good one you should pay like maybe 500 dollars at least for the most basic one and i've made it with like 15 dollars and it was very cool because the physic part of the project is quite easy to understand because laser is producing light and you only have to want to only thing that you need to do is to measure that the power of that light but arduino is not good at measuring allow uh, light power but it's very good to measure temperature so if you wa were to use some sort of metal body that will absorb all the light and transform it into heat then it's very easy to measure that heat and calculate the power that was, was dissipated how you can calculate that because you can also dissipate power at the same time with a resistor and measure that temperature and make the graph in between and if the power dissipation of the block is always the same you can get the graph and then get the power dissipated it was it was a project that works very well it's not that precise for a 20 dollars project but i could make it more precise just by adjusting that piece of metal to be always the same because in my case if i have a piece of uh, metal that is with one volume and one size and one special paint and you have a different one my code won't be uh, compatible with yours because you have to adapt the code to the piece of metal because the dissipation process is different depending on the mass of the block and the metal that you are using but if you were to control the size the uh, density and everything about that metal block in a in a factory you could be able to make a um, very precise uh, power um, meter for lasers so i think it was very cool as a project and that is my favorite project so we have talked about how the channel went my favorite project and now about the projects that i'm working on right now i should post a picture about with my workshop my workshop is now a mess because i'm recording the project of the msla uh, printer the android based msla printer i bought an ipad an ipad a tablet for like 20 dollars and it's like 10 inches big it has a 2k resolution and with that i want to make that uh, msla printer which is now assembled the case is assembled i'm only making the connections for the electronic parts so that's maybe the first video that you will see in january of 2026 i'm also working at uh, with a new power supply for my workshop now i do have a power supply which is very fancy and very expensive from keysight is huge and that's because it's a very professional power supply but for me as a maker i don't usually need a professional power supply i only need to have enough cur current and the voltage range for maybe like from one volt to maybe 40 50 not even 50 usually more than 24 volts is more than enough for me because for making small projects with arduino and basic robotics you don't need that much voltage you don't need a very precise power supply as neither because it's not a laboratory where you might make experiments if i were to do that i will use the big supply what i need is a supply that won't occupy a, uh, too much space on my workshop table so my idea i'm designing a 3d case with a very small screen that will be controlled maybe even with radio so we don't have to have it uh, on the table all the time and the power supply will be below the table and then i want to use i've designed some retractable uh, wires like for example this usb here as you can see i can pull it and it will go uh, inside and then if i pull it it will stay like this so i want to have a bunch of wires like this that will come out out of the workshop table so for example a black one and a red one i connect my power to my uh, circuit to my breadboard and if i don't need it anymore just pull it and uh, store it inside of the table because i don't want to have wires and the power supply which is huge on my table because the wires will get tangled and it's it's a mess so i'll have like a bunch of usb cables a bunch of power cables and maybe even an output of 2020 volts with a bunch of security so it will be like a very compact kit for a power supply that you can hide below the table and only have the wires on the top side it will be quite cool and i'm also designing i'm 
I've already designed the PCB for the second version of the Nixie watch because it was working quite well but I had problems with the driver so now I've made my own driver with BJ2 transistors. Actually I've just received the PCB but I wasn't able to receive it because the the messenger that uh, took the PCB to me told me that I have to pay 9 point something euros and they only accept metallic and I don't have money right now so since I can't pay it with card I had to... Uh, to not accept the, the package and go and receive it uh, on Friday directly to the postal office. Yeah. And those PCB are worth just $5 and I have to pay $9 in taxes. It's crazy. That's pain. <laughs> and now uh, we should talk a little bit about the house and how it's going. All the top, the above part, which is where I live, is more or less finished. The bathroom and the kitchen are finished. But now we are working with details. We are changing the doors for the uh, wardrobe. We are changing the lights. We add details like uh, maybe adding pictures and uh, sp small colors. So that's pretty much done. But the part that is not done is all the yard. Because now here in Spain, we have a lot of uh, rainy days. Actually, in the last two months, it rained almost every day. So all the back part of my yard, of my um, garden is a mess. I had a part that I started changing the floor and I had to leave it like that because it's now very cold and rainy all the day, all day. And uh, yeah, all the exterior part is a mess. So hopefully I'll get more Sundays and finish it till the uh, summer will be here because I want to have the pool part and the barbecue part ready for the summer. And um, talking about the workshop is finally getting to be the workshop that I always dreamed, dreamed. And I finally have like a huge area for working with long metal bars. I can weld here. I now have space for that laser cutting machine um, for metal, which I've shown you in the last video. And I also have space for a turning table, but I don't have money to buy it. But I really want a turning table to start making the, for example, the uh, jet engine uh, project. Hopefully in 2026 I will be able to buy that. And then I have a separate room for the electronics projects. I have it with three tables, which is something I always wanted. In front I have the table for recording a video. On the side I have the table for mechanical stuff like keys and hammers and all that. And on the other side I have the electronics table, which is with soldering, uh, the soldering station, the oscilloscope and the power supply. And on the wall I have my tools and my uh, boxes with components, so it's actually how I want it. I also have compressed air. I uh, want to add another line for triple phase input for big motors. And uh, I also want to add the drain. I don't have it right now and water. So I will be able to clean stuff in my workshop. So yeah, it's basically how I always want it to be. So basically my channel is going well. I've started making new projects. I'm starting making new series. I'm also preparing a podcast for the Spanish channel. That's why I have this... Uh, by, by the way, this is also part of the workshop, but I've added the false wall here. So I have like a studio for the podcast and for the live stream. I start making live streams for gaming because I, I sometimes when I have some free time, I'm playing some games like League of Legends or Rust or sometimes even Minecraft. Who knows? And yeah, um, this is my workshop right now. And I'm pretty happy with how it's um, evolving. And now we should talk about some of the questions that I have. One question that I had it a lot of my videos because one video from the Spanish channel got a little bit viral, which is how to make a well. And that is not related with electronics. But if you remember, like two years back, we bought a terrain and I had a lot of projects for that. And one of the projects was making a container home. And I bought all the metals, I bought the metal bars, but I've told you in the video about the solar panel that all that metal now is here in my yard. And I have like 2000 euros of metal sheets and metal bars, which right now I've used them to make some tables here in the workshop, but I have a lot more, which I don't know what to do with that yet. And that's because in order to buy this house, we had some problems with the mortgage. So we needed some extra money. So we had to sell that terrain. So all the projects with the solar panels, the greenhouse, the water pump and everything that I had on that terrain, we have to postpone that for maybe next year if I will be able to buy a different uh, field, a different terrain, because right now I can do that. So for all those who are wondering why the container home is not ready, is because it's cancelled and postponed to when I'll be able to buy um, a new terrain. So till then, the metal bars are already cut in half because these were like six meter metal bars and now are three meter because I had to move them with the car of my father, which is not that long. And yeah, 
Now I'll use them for making stuff here around my home and my workshop and at least not uh, waste the money. So at least I can use the metal. And then uh, I get a lot of questions about new courses because we have the Arduino and the IoT courses. And yes, I've already written three course courses, but I don't have time to record them and edit them. And the first one that I will release maybe in the first month of 2026 is of robotics. Actually, I've designed and made a, ro a robot, which will be quite small. So we'll have two parts, assembling the robot and learning about sensors, actuator, actuators, and everything about robotics. And then the second part of the course, which is how to program that robot to make stuff. And it will have a wireless connection. It will have an IoT connection. It will have a lot of sensors. So that, that will be very great for anyone who wants to learn electronics and robotics but especially for kids because you'll make like a small puppet that you could train yourself and make it do stuff and i'm planning to sell this course with the kit for you assembling uh, the robot and you'll have the robot and learn how to program it then i have another course about electricity not electronics electricity because i've been uh, Refor uh, remodeling my house and the entire electricity system uh, above. I've already made a video about how to make the electrical panel here in Spain. I've learned a lot about that and I also have a neighbor which works in biology and they have a laboratory and they want me to give a talk there about electricity. So since I'm preparing this uh, kind of um, knowledge, I thought everything that I will learn to make a course and teach you how to you work with high voltage, how to make protection, how to add uh, fuses, how to make an electric box and how the triple phase comes from the generator to your town and then to your home and everything related with electricity. And then I also am also preparing some video games, games courses because in the last two years and a little bit more than two years, I've been designing my own video games and I've learned a lot. I remember that at the beginning I was watching a lot of blogs and asking people to help me, but now I'm the one who enters the blogs to answer the people and help them because I've gained a lot of knowledge about uh, video editing, video editing, video games editing, and I'm actually um, almost finishing my own game, which is a survival game based on Mars. And it involves uh, crafting and gathering resources and then crafting with Arduinos, with 3D printers, uh, lat machines. You will see it's like basically taking my life on Mars and making a survival game with that. So I thought since I already have this game, maybe start from the beginning and teach you how to make video games for free because <laughs> these kind of uh, softwares are free. And I'm also preparing some basic circuits uh, videos. Uh, um, um, basic circuits uh, curses and maybe radio controllers with drones and RC planes but those are for later because right now the I think the robotics one and the electricity are a lot more uh, important so yeah this is everything that I wanted to tell you and I hope that you like everything that you've seen this year on this channel and sorry for the summertime that I don't didn't have the too much um, projects I know that a lot of you are commenting each time that I'm making a video which is not that related with electronics a lot of you guys are commenting that you don't like that but at the same time there are a lot of people new uh, new people that come to the channel and really enjoy the video series about um, remodeling my uh, workshop and yeah the podcast that i'll do here it will be only in spanish because it's not very easy for me to talk in let me just show you the entire room no too much zoom this is what we have right now and i have these two chairs with two microphones i want to add some plants but yeah, that will be only in Spanish because I want to have a guest here and that guest won't speak in English. And, but now with the automatic translation, you can translate. So maybe you can translate that podcast and the podcast won't be related with electronics. will be electronic uh, re related with something more day-to-day, um, -day, from the day-to-day -day life. You will see about what I'm talking. And yeah, I hope you like all the projects that I have prepared for the next year. And if it goes the same as now from the last two months, I hope that it will go like this. That means that 2026 will go a lot better than the previous years because I've been whining about my channels getting a lot less views for a long time. But now with the new format of blogs and updates and project videos and the new workshop, I think is getting a lot better. I mean, you, I can see that in the last few months analytics. So I'm staying positive. Yeah, guys, if you have any question, use the chat right now and uh, place it in the comment section in the comment in the chat right now. So I could answer that because this will be a premiere video. And if you see this video when the premiere is already over, just use the comment section below and ask me anything that you want. 
and uh, comment any proposal for a project or any idea or anything that you are thinking about uh, because that will help the algorithm. Thank you very much. And once again, happy new year. See you in January 2026. Bye.